All right, so look, man, y'all was rocking with that Beyond Scared Straight uh, funniest moments. So I went ahead and found Beyond Scared Straight's wildest moments, man. We about to see what's going on on this joint from the initial, you know what I'm saying, 0, 0.00 seconds. Shorty looked tough as hell. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. She might have scared the security guard, the CO, whatever he is, but uh, let's hop into it, all jokes aside, see what's going on. Is that supposed to scare me? I got some of you. Is that supposed to scare me? You gonna stare him down? Is that supposed to scare me? Cause I'm right. Are we, are we gonna do this again? Really? Do. Do what you need to do. Jump. Do what you need to do. Because next time we're gonna take that as an act of regression. And you know what happens when that happens, right? You wanna play. Put me in a jacket. You in right. what? Put me in a jacket. Why you, you ain't going to no jacket. Why you you ain't going to no jacket. You ain't getting in no jacket. You ain't getting 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 no jacket. You I knew she was about to spaz from when she was first crying. She was just staring at her like this, crying. Like, yeah, I ain't scared. I'm mad. <laughs> Put me in a jacket. I, I ain't never been in no jacket. I don't want no jacket. I'm cool. Like, just, just back up a little bit. <laughs> Things get messy when this teen brought on the show begins to throw a temper tantrum. Prior to her rebellion, she had asked to be put in a straight jacket. Maybe she had something to prove. But she immediately gets restrained by the officers. Are you here today? In disrespect. I already yeah, seen I'm, this. You're one. proud of that, ain't you? You got your chest all puffed out. You're proud of being disrespectful, disrespecting your mom. Go ahead and smack me around like you smack your you mom this morning. You need to stop spitting. <laughs> Hitting your mom. She takes care of you no matter what. Puts a roof over your head, buys that clothes you got, and you're gonna hit her. She's gonna be the only one that's there for you. We're back on my takes face. A big, I don't takes care. A big man. Don't put your pants down before I take you down. This was on the. That was on the first one. He he, he said you need to stop spitting in my face. Hey <laughs> yo, for real. Go for it. Go for it. She's the only Why one you that really cares about you. Why you got them tears running down you. your eyes? No, Go. You can hit your mama. Hit me. I'm a grown ass little dude. Yeah, you don't want to hit me in my mouth. Your mom don't ask for it, does she? Willie is a disrespectful teenager. He has been involved in several fights, suspended from school on a number of occasions, and he even beats his own mother. It is hard to believe he is only 13 years old, as he even stands his ground and talks back at the officers and tries to fight an inmate. Think it's funny? Yeah. Why? Yeah! It is. Yeah, why? You think it's a joke? Going to jail today and spending the day. Have a seat. You're gonna get placed in a cell just like this. You gotta use the bathroom right there. If you need a drink of water, it's right there. That's nasty. That is nasty. That you what? Sit down. That's what you. Because that's the example that you're setting for her. Look. You can't even look at her because you know you're gonna start crying. I'm trying to help your sister. Your sorry ass brought her to jail. Don't rely on a coward to protect you. You're a waste of time. I know you are. You, you are. Time. You won't even stay there. That's his sister right there? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, bro, hard. When I slap her sister, what you gonna do? This 14-year-old is one of the hardest ones on the show, and he's been brought Facts. with his sister, 12-year-old Alyssa. His crimes are armed burglary. Armed burglary? <laughs> Young boy in the streets for real. But the, look at the smile on his face. He don't care nothing about this. Then you try about smacking his sister. Hit my... You threatened my sister. And then why y'all bring her? <laughs> y'all thought she was going to be my weak point? Hopefully she is because everybody got to have a weak point. But damn, this little dude don't care. Grand theft and gun charges. Anthony might be feeling a little remorse when his little sister, following in his footsteps, breaks down in tears and he is forced to watch her cry. These guys like animals in here. Mm -mm. No. But their alternative is. Oh, dude, big as hell, though. Rub some Jolly Ranchers on your neck, smell it, you have you smelling good. You are something on your neck. But get your mind right or you'll be back. Bully, you come west, you won't be no damn bully. Man, bully. Come all this soft I'll show you, you a bitch. I can't stand y'all little come here thinking y'all all this and all that. Well, you got a chance at life of being something. So man, y'all get out there and try to do the right thing. It gets crazier when an officer takes his time to speak to this offender, known for fighting and theft amongst others. When an inmate brings to make sexual innuendos at the 17-year-old, we're pretty sure William gets the hint, as he's told by the officer to use his imagination. Dorm, they don't play. Hey, look, you know what this is? I can't do a lie with this. I catch you in that shower, put it in my sock, and make you not so pretty. 
pretty no more. Fine. Once pug, we get 190 gray water, I threw it in the girl's face. I threw it in the girl's face. What you gonna have on your conscience is the fact that she's in here in prison or in the grave. And that's the good. You're supposed to have her back when you bring her in this house. Tell me. What are you doing? Hello? Tell us. Gang banging. Gang banging. You notice that she's covered her face. She'll be waiting on you to come in here so she can go ahead and do what she can. 16-year-old Destiny and her 14-year-old sister, Dejneki, belong to a gang. They get a handful of advice from the female inmate, but it gets wild when an inmate approaches them with her face covered. You don't want to come to jail? No, sir. Why not? Because it's not a place for me. Not a place for you? Oh. Stealing? Stealing. That brings you to jail, right, Cap? You're doing everything, man, to bring you here. I feel good about Stella because I'm slick at it, like really, because when I do it, I know how to do it. <laughs> Boy said I'm good at Stella. I'm slick at it. Nigga, you ain't too slick if you got that suit on. <laughs> Shafiq likes stealing. He gets a rush. And he tell me, I'm not going to get caught. You good? Get up. Oh, you oh, are You oh, good? Oh, you oh, good? Oh, you oh, like oh, this? Oh, you want to try this? Oh, oh, go to jail. What you going to Stealing? You trying to go to You mean you tell me you trying to be around some booty bandits that caught you stealing? Stealing hard. You're talking to He said you trying to be around some booty bandits? Oh, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'd have stopped right there. If I was in the reds, look. Whoa, whoa. Don't call me no booty bandit. <laughs> well, listen to this. Hell no. Nah. Stealing. You trying to go to jail? You mean you tell me you trying to be around some booty bandits that caught you stealing? Talk to your mom in the comments. Oh, you will. Fourteen. You don't want to come to jail. This fourteen-year-old admits to enjoying stealing because he believes he. I'd have learned my lesson right there. Hold on, you a booty bandit? You too? Oh yeah, I ain't stealing shit else. Oh. <laughs> He's good at it. It's safe to say the youngest teenager gets a rush from the act. But after confrontation with these three frightening inmates, we can only hope he's turned a new leaf. All right, listen up, listen up. You have one minute. Go ahead, get that bag, line up at this front door. Let's go. You got to start getting yourself trained to understand what this is about. You saying getting trained, bro? I'm not going to be back in here. You will. No, I'm not. You will. You better work on your brother because he is going to end up in here. You have failed him. For some strange reason, he think me and him on the same level. He think- Hey, bro, cool up. Don't say nothing. People have different preferences as it pertains to their sexuality. So we have men up here, up here, that might want to dress and look like women. So we have to put them in a certain area for their safety. Now, one thing you have to understand, they're still charged with armed robbery, murder, Aggravated assault. Uh, go ahead and introduce yourself. Well, my name's Adonis. I've been here almost four or five months now. But what you in for? Drinking lean. Drinking lean. You know, Lee, you crazy? You don't even care, do you? You'll be here with me soon. And in prison, man, I got stabbed in the face. I got stabbed in my chest. All at one time about me not knowing the rules, not sitting on somebody's bed, as they say. You better be scared, because they're going to do something to you when you get here. You're going to be somebody's Travis and his baby brother Deontay are brought on the show for being disrespectful, stealing, and gangbanging. Travis makes further admissions on his lean addiction when spoken to by an inmate who gives the brother some valuable advice. You need to be trying to get an education because your looks ain't going to get you paid because you're not that cute. So I'm saying, I'm 51. I turned 51 in here because of a mistake from somebody like one of y'all. Talking about scare you straight? Wait till they lock you behind those doors. Then I bet you won't come back. This right here. There's more ways than one to. Out of a scared as fucker, uh, whoever this is, I don't know what you go by, but that would have made me scared. Hold on. And it, murder? He said murdered who? <laughs> Keep this right here away from me, okay? I ain't coming back scare these kids straight and Reginald knows just what to say 
The 51-year-old brought in for murder and awaiting trial was one to speak some sense into the inmates without any need at all to raise his voice, curse at, or threaten them. Tahari and Terion constantly there at each other throats. I got anger issues. The worst thing I ever did to anybody when I was fighting was hitting him with a brick. I pulled a knife on my brother because he punched me in my face and my nose started bleeding. I was just sick of him pushing me around and stuff. I don't want y'all to end up in jail because y'all starting at home. It's going to end up getting bigger. And I don't If yeah, I let you in here with that man, that man would That's destroy you. That's going to eat you alive. You hear that? You don't stand with me. If this is what you want, you want this. I would take you and I would squeeze you, man. You want to fight a man, man like that? Hey, hey, that was a uh, uh, lot of ticket. I squeeze you, <laughs> and I squeeze you. <laughs> the fuck out of here. I would take you, and I would squeeze you, man. You want to fight a man, man like you the same. Sit him down in that. Let you feel it. This is a restraint chair. If you come into the facility, and you want to act like an idiot, you're placed in a restraint chair. The restraint chair is designed to immobilize you, restrict your freedom of movement. Once you are secured in the chair, a deputy will come by and check on you. Now, how does that make you? You got to leave back, Sam. This is hurtful. This is real. To see a family member strapped up in a chair. But he can't. Brothers Tahari and Tarian are notorious thieves and troublemakers. The two admit to stealing even from their mother. Things get very intense and emotional during this prison visit, as one of the brothers gets strapped down while the other watches. Come on in, man. Be quiet. Y'all not finna keep trying me, bro. You here now. But what you better realize? You gonna move voluntarily or involuntarily. Either way, go. You're gonna move. Man, I ain't even gotta be, gotta be in here, man. Y'all tripping. Uh uh. Man, y'all tripping. You ain't finna keep screaming at me either. Because you're gonna do what? <laughs> no. My name Corey. I'm 16. I steal cars. I fight and I do drugs. He, he do drugs. <laughs> oh, get them the fuck. <laughs> I do drugs. He said that at the end, like that was the icing on the cake. Iggy, he's a snap. He's a drug addict. I steal cars. I do this, I do that. Oh yeah, and I do some drugs. <laughs> this boy's 16, man, shame boy. you. I probably done stole over like 30 cars. If he's gonna get Damn. killed away when I turn 17, it, it, it don't really matter to me. Oh, I want you to say something. I swear to God, I want you to say something. Get your yeah. Hey, hey boy, you don't want this life right here, because this life ain't nothing. Man, I get him, fight! Because, I mean, he, he really needs somebody right now. Come here. You know, they, they, we going on right here. I'm in right now. Still the cars. Did the results. Did the results right here. Ain't nothing good about this. Ain't nothing gangster, nothing rapping, all this for real. Well, you got to do what's right, man. Your mama need help, you know that. This young car thief has been caught once for the act, and he believes the charges against him are going to be dropped off once he turns 18. This jail tour, though, did seem to leave an impact on him as he reunites with his stepfather, who's an inmate. I like fighting. It's fun. I'm not afraid of anybody. If you've cost me, get out of my way. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but you're worse than me. Yeah, but I don't fight my family members. I'm in for a theft. And then it was selling dope, getting girls to see. gonna support you, me, and the both our habits. Hey, little bust down. I got something for you. See this? I want you to unwrap that pussy pop. Do it. In your mouth, Yeah, suck that. That's right. Dusty, get up. One day you're gonna get in the car with a this. What was that? What was that for? You just made a minor sucker sucker out your sock. That was supposed to have her scared of jail. She ain't even gonna be in there with no nut ass niggas like you. She gonna be in there with some other females with some eating candy out they sock. <laughs> Not your sock. <laughs> I sock the dog shit out. You ain't putting that in my mouth, boy. Your feet right sweaty as hell. Jail socks on. You gonna be high. You gonna be drunk. He gonna give you some heroin. I'm exactly. I'm on. gonna take you somewhere. I'm gonna sell you. Then I'm gonna bring you back onto the house. And the odds are you're going to have your sister with you because she follows behind everywhere you go. Right? Great. More money for me. Yeah. Two for one. When an inmate known by the alias Pretty Boy, a former pimp and felon, is brought on to speak some sense into the young offenders, he forces Dusty to a lollipop, giving her a taste of the harsh reality down the path she and her sister are headed. Have a seat. Have a seat. Eat your food. Oh, sit down. Come on, everybody. 
to try that. That's what we gotta go through every day. That's what we eat every day. Don't spin it up, chew it. This is what you want, right? This is what you need to. I just slapped my shit on the ground. <laughs> Get out of here. There is absolutely nothing nice about being in prison, especially not the food. When the young offenders are served dinner, none of them can finish their meal, and a few even spit out the unrecognizable substance. You ain't at home no more. You're going to do what we tell you to do, and we ain't going to tell you twice. Dude, up. You know what up means, man? Do you know what up means? You in jail. Put your, keep your hands on the up. Pull your pants up, man. Dude, turn around. Turn around. That's how, this is how it is when you... Look, man, following your big brother, huh? Doing your own thing? Got my block. Watch my little brother bleed out in front of him. 15, because he wanted to be like his big brother. But I got this. And I know you can't outfight me. Don't do the shit he's doing. It ain't cool. 14 year old James enjoys doing drugs and loves getting into fights, both of which he indulges his baby brother James. They both don't seem to take the jail experience seriously, though. I'm Larry. I'm 12 years old. I was charged with a terrorist threat and I get suspended for school. You've been in and out of the court uh, and on probation. Good. I was charged with a terrorist threat because me and the teacher, we got into it. And I told him, you're going to get sparked on. That's in. Shoot. Why am I? Why you keep standing on laugh lane? You know what that matters to me? Go ahead. Show me. I don't have no attitude. Peace, Dan. That's one. Attitudes belong here. This 12-year-old is too much for his parents to handle, being involved in a gang, and even making death threats to his teachers at school, which has earned him multiple sus- He said, I told her she could get spark, like, shot. Boy, 12. Whatever gang he belongs to needs to get slapped on too, man. <laughs> hey, and Joe. And they're gonna beat your ass. Hope your fight game good. But I tell you, I see a young lady that's growing up, and you can be any you want to be. What you want to be? A veterinarian. You think you can be a veterinarian with the attitude? No. It's easy to understand why these inmates are hard on the kids brought on the show, because they can only wish to have an opportunity to change their ways, and that is all they want for these kids. Tell me about... I don't know, man. Sometimes that might not even be the way to do it. But it might be. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how much they getting out of it. I need to see some like after the after the kids get out of uh, the little joint. If they go home, be respectful to their mom. And but once the kid is that bad, you think that one day in there is gonna just change their whole? I don't. I don't know. I, I I need to see the results, man. See if any of them went home, apologized to their mom, and stayed. You know what I'm saying with good behavior for the next two, three years, they 16, two, three years till they get out their mom, parents' house or out of school, whatever. I don't know, but that that right there was funny to me, man. I'm beyond scared straights is classics, bro. <laughs> but uh, we about to get up out of here. Let me know what y'all think about them joints in the comments. If y'all want to see me continue to do those and other stuff like that, just let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Go MTV.